So the first project that we are going to build is this particular stopwatch timer application. So if I refresh the page, you will get this particular screen. So when I click on the start button, you can see now the timer is actually started. So if I click on the stop button, you can see now we are able to save a one lap. If I again click on the start button, if I again click on stop, then we get our second lap. Now again, I'm going to click on the start button. So if I click on the pause button, you can see now the stopwatch timer is actually paused. If I want to continue again, so simply I need to click on the start button. So now it's going to start the timer from where it is actually paused. After that, if I want to reset the timer, so I can simply click on this reset button. It's going to reset the timer to zero. So this is the first project that we're going to build in this course. The second project that we're going to build is this particular vowel checker application. So if I enter here some words, if I refresh the page, you will see this particular screen and there is some animation is also going on. So if I enter here like VJ, which is my name, or I can just simply enter any of the text. If I click on count vowels, right now it has only one vowel, which is this particular I character. Now if I enter here something like uh, text is here. So if I click on count vowels, right now it has four vowels, which is this particular E then this i and then this e and this e so right now we have only four vowels in this particular line of the text all right so this will be the second application that we are going to build in this course then the third application we are going to build this particular poll system application so if i refresh the page then you can see this particular animation will be going on and it will show this particular screen so if i click on this programming language means if i select any of the programming language so if I select the Python, if I click on submit, you can see now the percentage value of the Python is increased. If I select C++, then if I again click on it, then you can see now the percentage is value is actually split between the Python and the C++. If I select the Java and if I select JavaScript, then you can see now the percentage value is actually split into four different parts. So if I click on submit, submit again, now you can see the value of the JavaScript percentage is actually increased. So this will be the application that we're going to build in this particular course, which is, will be the third application for this particular course. Fourth application that we're going to build is this particular password generator application. So if I increase the and decrease the value of this particular password length by using this slider, if I just simply slide it to the right side then you can see the password length increased and if i just decrease it towards the left then you can see the password length is decreased if i also want lowercase and uppercase character into my password then you can see it's going to display the password if i click on the generate password then it's going to generate password also and if i click on it then you can see now the password is copy if i can paste it here you can see this will be the text and this will be the password that i have copied it is actually same so this will be the fourth application that we're going to build in this course. Then the fifth application that we're going to build is this particular cash calculator application. When I refresh it, you will see there is a nice animation going on and it's going to display this particular card like structure. Now don't go with the UI part for this particular application. Although I have tried my best to actually build the UI, but still this application is heavily focused on the JavaScript and it's actually a most complicated application for this entire course so you need to be very patient while watching this particular module so this will be the fifth application so if i enter here something like number of nodes so if i enter here five if i enter here ten then you can see it's going to display the total cash which is fifteen thousand and also it is going to display the cash in form of words so it is actually the indian cash calculator you can simply follow this approach to build your own country cash calculator this calculator application is very helpful in counter jobs like cash counter jobs where you have to manage multiple currencies like you have different kinds of currency and you need to create a final cash which is will be a very difficult because if you have multiple currencies then you need to keep track of each of them but here this particular application will solve the problem because you need to simply enter the number of nodes or the number of coins depending upon the currency okay so this will be the fifth application that we will develop in this course then the sixth application that we're going to build is this random color generator or you can say that the random color card generator tile generator whatever you want to say if i refresh the page then we will get a different colors every time also i have added the copy functionality so you can see whenever i click on the copy if i want to paste the color code so you can see this is will be the color code that i have copied from this particular project and also it is going to display the alert in which you can see copied to clipboard if i click on ok then this particular alert will be disappear so this will be the application that we are going to build in the 
sixth module of the course which is the sixth project of this particular course then we are going to build this note taking application if i refresh the page then you can see the data is still present in the web browser if i just delete everything and now if i refresh the page then we will see a blank card which is the default behavior of this particular application that we want to achieve so if i enter here this is some data okay so if i enter here and now if i refresh the page you can see we are actually able to solve this particular data inside the local storage of the browser if i want to enter another card or i can say that the another sticky note so simply i click on this particular add button here i will enter the data like second then this will be the third and if i now refresh the web page and you can see we get this particular data will be saved inside the local storage of the browser this will be the seventh application for this particular course that we're going to develop when this particular note taking module will be started then the eighth application that we're going to build is this particular english dictionary so if i refresh the page then this will be the default screen of this particular application if i enter here a word like dog if i click on search then you can see it's going to display the data so right now it is actually going to facilitate it will take some time now you can see it's actually display this card like structure in a form query animation now you can see it's going to display this data now some of the data will be repeated multiple times that is because of the api data i have actually fetched it for one time but it's going to display it multiple times because the because the api is created in such a way now if i click on this particular speak functionality so if you open it in, then you can see it's going to pronunciate the word dog so this will be the eighth application that we're going to build in this course now the ninth application that we're going to build is this particular text animation if i refresh the page then you can see there is a nice animation is going on with this particular javascript text again if i refresh it so this will be the ninth project that we're going to build for this particular course so these are some of the projects that we're going to build and there are more projects like in this particular course we're going to develop 20 projects get started on your journey now see you on the course